Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lex and on today's broadcast we will be revisiting an old acquaintance of this channel. For this video we will once again be looking at Low Tier God otherwise known as Dale Wilson and how his refusal to better himself leaves a serious blot on the fighting game community or the FGC for short. For those who did not see the video that I did on Dale about three months ago, Dale is an infamous figure within the fighting game scene. He calls people absolutely awful names, he made fun of a disabled man, he rage quits matches when he's losing, and overall has the emotional stability of a moldy piece of bread. This man is about to turn 40 this year, and he's acting like a teenager, if not worse. A channel that I have mentioned before, Major Start has posted clips of Dale's Twitch streams onto YouTube. Now, on September 24th, 2024, Street Fighter VI released Terry Bogard, a guest character to the series who is originally the main protagonist of the Fatal Fury games by the SNK Corporation. Dale has done a few streams over the last week of him playing Terry in Street Fighter VI, but these clips just show the same old song and dance that people have come to expect from Dale after so many years. He rage quits the matches, he throws the matches, he insults his opponents for either also playing Terry or by playing better than he is, and then banning people in his chat for calling him out on his BS. Now that the recap or backstory is out of the way, I would like to give my thoughts on this situation. First off, one of my friends who makes exclusively fighting game videos, Blanco, posted in a Discord group about the time he fought LTG in Tekken 8 a few months ago. I was uh, very eager to see the clip of that happening. During the game, which I will link down below, LTG kept playing poorly and Blanco managed to beat him after noticing this. Instead of being a good sport and saying, good job to you, you played well, LTG just berates Blanco for winning. One thing that keeps frosting my cookies is that he thinks everyone who plays against him is out to get him and ruin his stream. Dale, the world does not revolve around you, so just, just please stop. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, and even my birthday live stream from a few months ago, I do use quite a bit of Street Fighter VI content in my videos, normally as background footage since I don't like going on camera. Heck, I don't even really like taking pictures of myself. Now, gaming is one of my hobbies alongside history, rambling, and doodling. I play them to relax. If we take a look at my Steam page, I play games from a variety of genres, all completely different from each other. For Street Fighter, my two main characters that I play often are Jury and Chun-Li, but I picked up Terry when he came out and I'm having a lot of fun with him. I even placed Diamond 2 on Terry with 3-ish hours of total playtime, which shocked me because I really didn't think I was that great at him. I felt like I was messing up a lot when I played him, but I didn't really care. I was having a lot of fun. I thought he was a really fun character to play. Now, Dale has said in some of his clips from his live streams that he has to make himself play Street Fighter and complains about it constantly. If playing the game angers him to that extent, he should either A, play something else entirely like Tekken or Mortal Kombat, or just get off the game together. When it comes to any hobby, how much fun someone is having with it matters a lot and if he isn't having fun with Street Fighter he should just uninstall the game permanently and not come back and play it every time a new character comes out if he truly does not enjoy it that much. I've said it before many 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 times that people can change if they're willing to put their effort into it and I still believe that. I do believe that people can change. However, all these years later because there are videos coming back from 2018, 2019, where Dale is doing all the same behavior and he has unfortunately shown that he has no interest in changing his attitude and honestly it can't be healthy 
to just be that angry all the time. Life is way too short to be angry constantly. There's so much in life to be happy about. And Dale has had the opportunity to stream for a living. So many people wish that they could do that. And Dale is very lucky to be able to do that. But all that he does is scream at the camera and yell insults at people. Like, how can anybody find that kind of content entertaining to watch in general for more than five minutes? <laughs> At the end of the day, it's going to be Dale and the people around him who are going to be most affected by his poor attitude. Now, when you or I are looking at videos of Dale screaming and shouting, we are able to mute them or turn them off. And unfortunately, there is no such thing as a mute button in the everyday world. So, the people around Dale and Dale himself are the ones who are going to have to deal with Dale's horrible behavior. And it's going to be up to Dale and Dale alone if he is ever willing to change that. And from the pattern I'm seeing, I unfortunately don't think that's going to happen. Before I leave you all this fine morning, afternoon, evening, or whenever you may be watching this video, I would like to leave you with a fun fact. Did you know that Prince Albert, the famous husband of Queen Victoria, was a renaissance man? He had a very skilled mind when it came to the sciences, to the arts, to the languages that he spoke. And he was also an accomplished organist, a singer, a composer, and he was also an amateur painter. So Albert's resume was just full of many different interesting things. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more of my content, then please subscribe to Sweet Hister Tea, a channel full of random facts, lots of sparkles, and tons more videos to come in the future. Thank you so much again for watching, and until next time, bye bye There's a part of myself that I'm missing Now I gotta